Hello everyone, it's my full scene. In today's video, I'm doing three looks, one palette. Um, using the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. If you guys are wondering what's on my lips, is the Virginity, which is Laura Lipstick by Jeffree Star. I'm using some eyeshadow primer. Uh, this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Zoom you guys in a little bit closer. I'm trying to do more ghost things, but I don't know how much I honestly like it. Um, using the shade Tongue Pop on a fluffyish brush to kind of go throughout the crease here, just to start building it up. This is going to be a red glittery look. I'm doing a just look on just one eye. Next, I'm going to a bit of glue close, I guess, and I'm diffusing that edge out. I honestly didn't remember I did that, but there is some glue close in this one. Um, just diffusing that out, and I think I went back into Fresh Meat and kind of working that up here. This was going to be a halo eye originally, and then I think halfway through I changed my mind and added in the glitter, but this is a fresh meat, kind of building up that crease. And I used Coma, and the one directly next to it, which I think is Extraction, I guess to build up more, but it's mainly just Coma. And building that up here, just adding more and more Coma. And I used Prick, and that was where I was going to do the halo, which was just putting that on the inner and outer. And I was just going to put Prick throughout the entire thing. Pixie is now eating a toy behind me, so as you see, I put that across the entire thing. At this point, I was kind of like, uh, it's not really the look that I'm kind of going, kind of dig in here. So I kind of just add some more Coma and um, Fresh Meat. I think I added a little bit of Cherry Soda in as well. Here's where I decided I wanted to glitter. So I grabbed the NYX uh, Glitter Primer and put that in the Jed Center over top of Prick. And then I grabbed a red glitter also from NYX, as you can see there. Yep, Pixie's the one. I put that directly on where the primer is, basically everywhere Prick is. Um, so building that up here, it is such a gorgeous color. And just so that way, I would actually change the coloring of the filter on this because it looks so great. And then some cherry, cherry soda just kind of build up the edges here. And I added some more prick in as well. Um, if you change the color just ever so slightly, a little bit more contrast, oh my god, it looks so stunning. And more realistic to what it actually looks like. My camera is not doing it justice at all. But, um, Yeah. You can see that on my blog. I have that picture on there. And oh my god, it looks so beautiful. That one does have filter over <laughs> As I said, um, a little bit more contrast. Um, kind of cleaned up the glitter fallout. So I took High Maintenance, one of the Morphe um, eyeliners, to do my waterline, which is kind of more of an orange. I thought it was red, but it's definitely an orange color, <laughs> which wasn't a fan of. Um, then I'm going in with Fresh, little, little, fresh Meat. No! No, I'm going with cherry soda. Cherry soda and prick underneath the lower lash line. And then I added coma. Nope, I added more tongue pop. Okay, I added tongue pop. I clearly don't know what I did. <laughs> um, then some glucose just to lighten up that brow bone. Some more, apparently. Out of focus. Add some mascara. I'm using my usual essence stylish curl and hold my lashes kind of had mascara from before so they are very very clumpy added an ardell demi wish to be lash and there is the fun look of this glittery red look oh my gosh i love it so much especially if i switch and put a filter on oh my god it's so gorgeous anyways first look done don't know how long i'm staring at my eye here I slowed it down for this part because otherwise it was not even a second long. There's no I could narrate that part. So yeah. Tons of looks. I did a her terrible job of applying my mascara on the bottom lashes. Oh my god. That is terrible. But yeah. Um, that's this look. Let's go to the next look. <laughs> I'm using the same primer on the side as you saw. I put it on earlier. Um, I'm going in with the shade. Uh, root canal in the outer half of my crease just kind of building that up on a fluffy brush then I'm going to take cavity on the inner portion this is actually going to be a cut crease well kind of half cut crease and very crazily in towards the center 
And then I'm using Coma, oh, Pixie got to fluff, um, to build up that outer corner and bring it in about halfway in, I would say. Um, and then I took ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is the only way I like using this concealer is to actually cut the crease and because it kind of is almost white on me, but I don't like this concealer otherwise. It's good for an eyeshadow primer, it's just not good otherwise, in my opinion. You might have a different opinion, but that is my opinion. So, yeah, cut and crease with that concealer and a little bit down, because why not? Then I am taking Candy Floss. I don't know if I showed you guys. Yeah, Candy Floss there. And I am going to pack that over where I just put that concealer. And I think did wet my brush with the Morphe primer. That's kind of why I like to use, to use to wet my brush. And kind of putting that all over top. And then I took um, some Root Canal to kind of blur that edge between it. As you guys can kind of see here. I'm putting that all over. No, that's cavity. That is cavity that I was using. That is not Root Canal. That is cavity. My bad. Um, next, I'm just adding some concealer to clean up the under edge. I'm using Morphe Sponge today. Not sure how I feel about it. And I think I have a beauty mark coming in. This is the Boots uh, ColourPop Gel Liner to do my lower lash line. And then I used a mixture of root canal and cavity to do the under eye portion. And I used the same mascara because I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not giving back this toy. I'm leaving this out in. These are the bloops. The bloops while I do this. And I put glucose in the inner corner as well. I thought I did that earlier, but nope, I did that here. And also my brow bone, because perfect. And then I did some liner and lashes, also the Ardell Demi Wispies. And this is actually this is actually a stacked lash, more so on the outer portion with some cut up from a different one. And I did a pointed corner on the inside. That is the half cut crease. Uh, half the cut crease for me is hidden behind the hood of my eye. As you can see, there's a dot, and I'm pretty sure that it's turning into a mole. That's a beauty mark. My mom had the same thing, which I find funny. She had hers removed. I think it was just blood vessels. It wasn't actually a beauty mark. It was just a cluster of blood vessels, and I'm getting the same thing. This one, I'm doing a full look. Both eyes the same. Uh, just using some Makeup Revolution concealer to do this. I didn't install them the same night, so my eyes are... I also had a look on before I did these looks. So this is the fourth look that my eyes have endured for this day. And they were starting to be, like, done with me, to be quite honest. You can see Pixie in the background. There's huge. Um, starting off with Cake Mix. And I actually added a little bit of sugar cane, but I didn't show that. I don't know why I didn't show the palette when I was grabbing that, but I kind of went back and forth between them. And then I went in with Ouch kind of build up that crease even more. This is also a halo eye, but this is the more neutral look with the pop of color, which I really like this look. I actually wore this the rest of the night. I do change out that lip. Virginity is not staying for that look. Um, next, we're going to go with extraneous on the outer and inner corner to kind of build up that halo effect. And then once that's all built up, I'm going to wet my brush different brush, actually taking out, just kind of diffuse the edge, um, then we'll wet a brush and use donor and sweetener, I think I started out with donor on the outer half of the center, and then I use sweetener on the inner half, leaving a strip in the center, open, and you'll see me do that here. So that's me going to sweetener now, which is slightly a lighter, bronzier tone, goldy tone, what do you want to call it? Um, so then I wanted to add a ColourPop Super Nova shadow, and this is the one called Rush Hour, which I do like, and it definitely looks really good news. Good news? What did I say? Oh, the dogs are fighting behind me. Um, but I decided to put sweetener on top of it. But before I did that, I put some uh, blood sugar and extraction underneath my eyes to kind of create this rusty look that kind of matches my um, sweatshirt. I took some more extraneous 
I don't think I showed that I put sweetener on top. No, my camera was dying. And I just did um just regular old lashes and a little black liner on top. I did not put anything in my waterline. And then I added designer's blood on top of virginity for my lips. So hope you guys all like it. That was one, two, three looks. And we're done. Um, if you guys like these kind of videos, give me a comment. Leave a comment. Give this video a big pause up and subscribe to the Howl Pack. And we're here at the thank you for watching screen. So have a good day. Goodbye. Love you.